I would say that distraction and impatience and being easily disappointed are big challenges with a lot of the students that we love and care for and work with at our church and at our university. There is high desire and expectation to have meaningful lives, even for that to be costly and to uh, mean something difficult, but the long haul patient endurance we're called to as disciples of simply setting your clock a half an hour early to get up to read your Bible and pray or to be regularly involved in, in one's local church, working in the nursery, not being flaky with that, just easily distracted, easily disappointed. Mm. The, the, the social media world has brought a level of shallowness and distraction to even every conversation many of them have. So mm. they tend not to listen very well because they're thinking of the next dopamine hit they'll get from their device and it can be hard to, to help them to settle mm. and rest and linger in God's presence and in the presence of someone else and be a, a good friend who loves well because you listen well. Mm. I think too we've we've seen uh, students who feel a lot of stress, and along with that, sometimes is anxiety and depression. But sometimes I think the stress they they put that on themselves. Sometimes it might be uh, originate with their family and and just pressures that come from living in the culture that we live in. But. Um, getting really plugged in with your mm -hmm. local church and keeping the the major important things as the majorly important things, uh, I think can eliminate some of that stress and mm -hmm. um, not, a, not expecting more of yourself than to just be a faithful follower of Jesus as a college student. And, and generally, I would say we're very positive about where younger people are today. They get criticized a lot and there, there's some basis for that, but so many of the, the young people that we meet and get to work with, they really want their lives to matter. Yeah. They, they have not bought in as much as they used to to a more consumer-driven, mm -hmm. marketing-driven, uh, very self-human-centered approach to the church. They, they, they want a God who's glorious, mm -hmm. and they want a God who is worthy of worship and to be feared, mm -hmm. and so, they need the patience to get to know that God when it doesn't feel dramatic or provide a good Instagram picture, but there, there is a desire. And I hope older folks grab a hold of the privilege of being part of leading these dear young people who want to know God and want their lives to matter. And have the, we have the ability to show them what that looks like and say, follow me as I follow Christ.